O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. God of God, light of light, lo, he abhors not the virgin's womb. Very God, begotten, not created, O come, let us adore him, O come, let us adore him, O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels, Sing in exultation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest, O come let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Jesus, to thee be glory given. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favour. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfil every one of your plans. May we ring and our joy, your victory, and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven. With the mighty victory be sand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, 
But we shall hold firm, we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for every man. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given. Days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth, and wisdom and might, and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you made us a kingdom, and priests, to serve our God. The wisdom which comes from above is marked chiefly indeed by its purity, but also by its peacefulness. It is courteous and ready to be convinced, always taking the better part. It carries mercy with it, and a harvest of all that is good. It is uncensorious and without affectation. Peace is the seed ground of holiness, and those who make peace will win its harvest. This man became a teacher in the church of God. This man became a teacher in the church of God. The Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and, and understanding. This man became a teacher in the church of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This man became a teacher in the church of God. The man who keeps the commandments and teaches them 
will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him, he puts for his arm in strength, and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. The man who keeps the commandments and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you enriched your church and gave examples for us to follow in the life and teaching of Saint Basil and Saint Gregory. Grant that learning your truth with humility, we may practice it in faith and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.